Hi guys, Byron Embry again here with Pitching 101. You know, I had a very interesting phone call this morning from a parent who had some deep concerns about her 11 year old learning to throw a curveball from a youth coach last night at practice. Now I had to explain that my philosophy behind youth kids and curveballs is a little different than most. So as practice is starting to go and we're getting ramped up for the 2017 season, I thought it would be a great idea to explain that I don't believe that the curveball is dangerous. What we call a curveball is dangerous. And for that fact, I believe that the curveball itself is a much better pitch to throw at a younger age than a changeup. Let me explain. Let's talk safety. Oftentimes we've heard that the curveball is dangerous for the young arm, it's bad for the shoulder, um, kids are having surgery because of the curveball, and I have not found that to be the case. The reality is that the curveball is not dangerous. What we thought was a curveball is dangerous. The curveball is sometimes labeled dangerous when kids get around the baseball this way and they're creating this type of rotation and this type of arc and this type of break. That is not a curveball. In fact, I don't know what that is. The curveball has to be thrown straight down to the point to where my knuckle and my hand remain over the ball and my knuckle points directly to the catcher. What happens, however, is that kids believe they're on top of the ball but because they're taught to tuck the glove or pull the glove down, when they go to yank the glove down, the shoulder opens and we get around the ball, putting pressure on the medial epicondyl area. And the reason we get that is because we tell kids to throw the curveball as hard as your fastball. That's not true. We want the hand to be the same speed as the fastball, not the arm to be the same speed as the fastball. As a result, we have a tendency to throw the curveball hard versus spinning it fast. Remember now, hand speed is everything. I want my hand to be fast because my hand creates rotation, not my arm. As if I'm casting a reel out into a lake when I'm fishing, I'm only using my hand to do the job versus my shoulder. So when I go to throw this pitch, as my glove rotates in the, back, in the front, so does my hand in the back. And then from there, I'm taking my elbow directly over my glove or directly over my toe, pointing my knuckle directly to the catcher, creating this type of rotation. Now, a lot of you that have been around me a long time, you often hear me talk about hit the nail on the head. I don't want to bend the nail. So if this is a hammer, head in the front, teeth in the back, I'm going to hammer this nail just like this. If I get around it, I'm going to bend the nail. So if we start getting around the curveball because we can't keep our front shoulder closed, then the pitch is labeled dangerous. Also, that pitch should not be labeled a curveball. Now let's talk about effectiveness. The changeup is a good pitch to have at a young age if the hitters are good enough. What happens is kids at a young age, hitters at a young age, cannot detect if the pitch was a changeup or just a slower fastball. Some kids, especially the harder throwers, they throw hard enough to where the changeup is easy to catch up to and hit because it appears to be a slower fastball or appears to be just like everyone else's fastball. But with a curveball, however, because the pitch breaks so suddenly, they're going to get more swings and misses, making the pitch more effective. A good curveball makes the fastball appear much harder. The changeup, however, if it's not thrown with the same RPM, the same backspin as we have with our fastball, it simply becomes a slower fastball, more so than a changeup. So remember, I don't want to throw the curveball hard, I want to spin it fast. If I stay on top of the baseball, allowing my knuckles to go to home plate, and I'm going to hit the nail on the head without bending the nail, this pitch is going to be a very safe and effective pitch to throw. Until next time, I'm Byron Embry.